G'day everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the progressive anti-recoil mod that comes with the Taylor Drift scripts for the Chronos Zen. I have done a video on this before. However, it was quick and basic. So I want to make sure I go into a bit more detail with this one. Let's get into it. One of the main questions I get is what's the difference between legacy and progressive? So to answer that first, legacy is the basic anti-recoil. Progressive is the more advanced option. Legacy only lets you choose one vertical and one horizontal value. So once you start shooting, those values are then activated and they stay at those values for the entire time you're holding the trigger. With progressive, you can make the anti-recoil values change while you're shooting to accommodate for any changes to the weapon's recoil. The next popular question is, how do I know if I need to use legacy or progressive? To answer this question, it's easier to quickly show you in a private lobby. So let's jump in. Okay, so to work out whether you need to use legacy or progressive, it's pretty simple. First of all, we just need to try and use legacy and see if we can get it to a laser beam using that only. So let's go into legacy, turn that on. Uh, let's put this up to 20. I'll try 25. This weapon's recoil, I know, it goes to the right. So I'm going to move this over to the left. I'll try negative 10 first. Let's just see how that goes. Okay, still goes up and still goes to the right. So we go back in by turning this up and bringing this back over to the left a little bit more. Out, save. And now. So that pretty much confirms it. Since the recoil goes up and down, we've sorted out the horizontal, that's fine. But because the vertical still goes up and then down, um, we're pretty much going to have to use progressive. From there, you know you're going to have to use progressive because the recoil of this weapon gets a little bit weaker towards the end of the clip. So that vertical value that we have here of 29, although it's all right for the, the first few rounds, Towards the end, that value is too strong, which is why you need to use progressive because you can start with progressive. You can start it uh, at a certain value and then end it on a different vertical value that's a little bit weaker. So instead of it moving up and then back down, you can keep it shooting straight the entire time. I hope that made sense. Next, let's take a look at what each of the settings in progressive does and then how to find the right values. When you first look at progressive, you'll see vertical start, vertical end, vertical time, and then the same for horizontal. Horizontal start, horizontal end, and horizontal time. The start and end values are how strong you want the anti-recoil to be at the start and the end. Your time value will determine when it will switch from that start to the end value. A time of 1000 equals one second. I know this sounds confusing, but let me clear this up for you because it's very simple. If I have my progressive anti-recoil set up as vertical start 30, vertical end 20, and vertical time 3000 for three seconds. This means that when I start shooting, the vertical anti-recoil value of 30 will apply for three seconds, and then it will switch to the end value of 20 until you let go of the trigger. It works the same way with the horizontal values. Identifying the right time value can be tricky. For most modern warfare weapons, I look at the size of the mag, somewhat halve it, and then I put it as my time value. So for example, 30 rounds, half of 30 is 15, so 1500. 40 rounds, half of 40 is 20, so 2,000. 60 rounds, half of 60 is 30, so 3,000. 100 rounds equals 5,000, and so on. I think you get the point. This isn't the best way to work it out, but it's what has worked for me this entire time. If you go back over my no recall videos for Modern Warfare weapons, you'll see I've followed this method for pretty much all of them, except for the AMAX and the single shot FR, which needed to be a little bit different. Even for the Cold War weapons, I always start there and only adjust if needed. If you want to work it out properly, then you'll need to empty a clip at the wall while counting in your head and also watching when the recoil of the weapon changes and then adjusting your vertical and horizontal time to that time where it's changing. So for example, if you start shooting and the weapon's recoil goes up and slightly to the right, but after three seconds, it pulls even harder to the right, your horizontal time value would need to be 3000. Now that's been explained, let's go back into a private lobby for some examples. Okay, so let's have a look at working out these progressive anti-recoil values. This is the process that you will need to follow. Let's go into anti-recoil, make sure progressive is turned on. Uh, vertical start, the weapon, the recoil of every weapon is going to go up anyway. So we're going to need to put the vertical start and end up. So we may as well just put that on uh, the start of 30 and the end of 20. We're using a 60 round mag, half of 60 is 30. So I'm going to go 3000. Um, now horizontal, let's leave that for now. And let's just check out how that goes. Okay, so it's still up and it's still over to the right. So we go back in, we need to turn this up, try 35, we need to turn this up, let's try 25. Since it is going to the right, uh, we need to pull this back over towards the left. So let's try negative 10, negative 10, and 3000 as well. 
Back out to save, and let's see how we go here. Okay, still going to the right and still going up towards the end of the clip. Let's try and fix that. So we go back into progressive. Towards the end, it's going up. Let's turn this up. And towards the end, it's also going more to the right. So horizontal end. Let's bring that back towards the left some more. Back out and save. And try those values. There we go. The horizontal... It's pretty good. The horizontal end... Probably maybe go over one, and the vertical end maybe go down by one. And let's give that a go. He's moving to the right a bit, back into progressive, horizontal start. Let's move that over to the left like that straight away. We'll come back. All right, we're back, and let's try those new values. There we go. And that's it. We figured it out. So we've gone from this one here, this one here, to this one, to this one, and now this one. You know, it's not a complete laser beam, but it's completely playable. And as you've seen, it, it does not take that long to figure it out. But anyway, let's look at another weapon. All right, so I've got the AK as the next weapon. Let's jump straight into it. I'm going to go into anti-recoil, progressive, make sure that's turned on. Let's put the vertical start on 30, vertical end on 20. Hammered in the mag, 40, half of 40 is 20, so let's try 2,000, and we'll leave the horizontal for now. And let's try that first. Okay, so still up the entire time, the values aren't strong enough, we need to turn those up. So we go back in, let's try 35 and 25. Okay, out with that save, and we try again. Improved, but not the best. So let's go back in. Aggressive. Let's try 37 and 27. There we go. Pretty good. Improvement again. Go back in. 38 and 28. And there we go. There's a small bit of movement to the right there. But I mean, I probably wouldn't bother. You could maybe, maybe put the horizontal to the left a little bit to stop that, maybe. See. Yeah, see, there you go. So, just a little bit on the horizontal there towards the, at the horizontal start, but uh, made a small improvement. But either way, again, just sorted out another weapon and it can be done that quickly. Let's look at something else. Okay, so I decided to grab the M91 because it's an LMG and I haven't, worked out the anti-recoil values for it before so let's let's have a look uh we go into progressive turn it on i'm going to start with the usual 30 and 20 how many in the mag 100 half of 150 so let's go 5000 because the first two digits of 5000 are 50 so that's where it comes from um and horizontal we'll leave the horizontal for now till we know what's going on but i'll put the time on 5000 because just in case all right All right, <laughs> clearly not good enough. Uh, so let's change that. Uh, let's go in here. This needs to, I'm gonna try and just match this one first. Let's try and match vertical start and end by 35 and, oh, 35 and 35. I'm gonna leave the time. Now, because the recall goes to the left, we need to put these into the positive. Um, the recall goes to the left, you move the horizontal numbers to the right. The recall goes to the right, you move the horizontal numbers to the left. So. Uh, in this case, the recoil is going left. We move horizontal values to the right. I'm going to try 8 and 8 and 5,000 is already there. Cool. Try that. Try it right next to it. All right. So the horizontal problem is pretty much gone, um, but we need to fix the vertical. So let's go back in. Now let's try 38 and 38. Take those both up, and I'm going to have to quickly... All right, we're back, so let's try out those new values. 
All right, progress. That's good. Going down now, which it might seem more that's bad, but at least we now know which values are too weak and which ones are too strong. So let's try 36 and 34. Let's give that a go. Gotta turn them down. Just try out a few different ones. was okay then it sort of went down towards uh the end so i'm gonna just reduce the end value maybe that one by one let's try that all right a bit of movement there but to be honest that's 100 rounds so uh, because it went up like that towards the end what i would do is i would go to vertical end and put that up by one and see if that fixes it um, I am going to need to quickly do this again, so I have 100 rounds. Alright, yeah. Now I've made that small change for this one, ignore those. Now I've made the small change from here, I put the vertical end up by one, let's try here. Pretty much holds there once it gets to the bottom, so maybe I need to just turn the vertical start down a little bit. And try that, uh, I'll try that here. Actually, how it looks. And there we go, that's pretty good. There was a bit of movement to the right there straight away as I started shooting, so uh, I'll go over to horizontal start because it moved over to the right straight away. I'm going to move this down. I'm going to move this back to the left because we want it to not go to the right as much straight away. So let's try, uh, let's just try seven. And there we go. Again, there is a bit of movement, but it is a hundred rounds. And if we want to compare it to uh, what it was without anti-recoil at all, you know, it's, it's, it's a thousand times better. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so I thought I'll jump into a plunder match to work out a Cold War weapon as well, just so you could see it. Perfect timing, of course. I'm just going to shut that up. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, progressive, make sure that's on. I'm going to put the vertical start on 30, vertical end on 20, mag size 50, half of 50, 25. So we go 2,500. Horizontal, not sure what the horizontal is for now, but I'm going to put the time on 2500 anyway, and we're just going to see how that goes. I'm just going to do the clip because I don't want to hear that guy talking. All right, so it's going up and to the right. Bring the sound back. Uh, so let's go back in, progressive. Let's try 35, and let's try 30. Going to the right, so let's bring the horizontal to the left. And we'll try that. And there we go. Well, there's that, pretty much. I mean, <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> um, you could probably uh, turn the vertical end up by one, maybe, because it looked like it did move a little bit up at the end there, but uh, let's try that. Again, going up at the end there, so let's go in. Aggressive vertical end. Let's try 30, try 30, 34 vertical end. That's probably a bit too much now, so go back 33. And it is going to the right towards the end, so we could probably go negative 7 towards the end to bring that back over. I have to come back. Okay, we're back. We'll try out those. And there we go. And that's pretty good. You could maybe mess around with the vertical a little bit more to, but I mean, come on. 
you're going to be hitting people with that no issues at all and it's it's much better than this and that's everything by now you should have a pretty good understanding of what progressive anti-recoil does and how to use it you've seen me go through a few examples and the process you need to follow to work it out on your own i promise you it's very easy once you get the hang of it go jump into a private lobby and practice with a few weapons now it'll be a lot easier using this video as a guide after a couple of times you won't even need this video anymore if you do have any questions ask them in the comments cheers for watching i'll see you later